Hi everybody, I am back in Hong Kong and I am doing clothing videos again, which believe me is a relief for me as well. Um, you know, we've been doing a lot of watch content recently and much as I love watches, this is very much my first love. And so I'm happy to be talking about this stuff again. Um, I wanna talk about a product. In fact, I wanna talk about the development of a product just cause I think this is quite an interesting story. Um, so you might've noticed that we have a line of shoes called the Armory Shoes and the Armory Shoes are made in Northampton. They have been developed in conjunction with a really great bespoke shoemaker in Tokyo named Yohei Fukuda. And uh, Fukuda-san developed two lasts for us. The Hajime last, which is the first last, it's an Oxford last, and the Jiro last, which is a loafer last, and it's a sort of almond toe, a little bit more sporty sort of thing. Um, the Jiro last uh, has been made into many different loafer styles. So the Jiro last is made into this, for instance. This is the, called the Duane, which is a penny loafer. Uh, and you know, the Jiro last of Duane is one of the armories best sellers. We do really well with it. I wear it a ton. Lots of people really love it. Um, it's a comfortable shoe, works well for a lot of people, right? And, uh, you know, even Fukuda-san, who is obviously the father of the Jiro Lass and the Duane, uh, loves that shoe. Sorry, someone just came in. Um, even Fukuda-san loves that shoe. And, uh, you know, so we were thinking, oh, wouldn't it be cool to make, like, the ultimate version of this shoe? Um, and... Here we have it. So this is a made in Fukuda's workshop, basically bespoke level, uh, Jiro lasted loafer. Um, this is no longer the Duane because we've made a bunch of changes to the style. It's actually a butterfly loafer with a hand stitched apron. But I just wanted to show you guys what like side by side, you know, a factory made shoe versus a handmade shoe, how different it can be, you know, because actually, it's made on the same last. Like the shape of these two shoes should be the same, but when you make things by hand, you can just capture a little bit more of the shape, of the original shape of the last. Um, so for instance, like if you look here, you know, at the arch, you might notice that the arch just scallops a little bit better on the handmade shoe versus the machine made shoe. You know, and if you look at like the stitch details, right? Like the stitch details are just a little bit tighter and finer on the bespoke shoe versus the factory made shoe. Now, of course, like the bespoke shoe is base, I'm sorry, the, the handmade shoe is basically like an order of, ma almost an order of magnitude more expensive than the handmade shoe, uh, than the factory shoe. Uh, but, you know, if you love shoes and if you really love this particular last, then why not have the best possible version of it, right? I mean, you know, I'm, I'm definitely gonna get myself a pair of these because I love the Giro last and I love the Duane Loafer and I'd love to see, I, I love seeing where Fukuda-san has kind of gone with this last and with this design. Okay, um, other interesting details to point out on Fukuda's Loafer, which actually I have foolishly not named yet. So if you guys have any suggestions for it, please drop it in the comments. Um, I mentioned obviously the hand-stitched apron with the hand-stitched split in the front, the butterfly strap, so a butterfly strap refers to a strap that's been twisted in the middle like that. You know, butterfly straps are not that easy to make, surprisingly. Um, they have to be just the right thickness, just the right tension in order to look neat and tidy on the shoe. Unfortunately, Fukuda-san, having done this in his own workshop, did a bang up job with it. The sole treatment is really, really beautiful, very neat and tidy. Um, we typically do ours with a flush toe tap like that. You don't have to spec it like that, but of course we like it like that because it just prolongs the life of the shoe. And uh, I mean, it's, a, it's like a 10 out of 10 piece of work. I am very, very much in love with it. Um, if you are interested, oh, let me slip it on actually, just so you can see what it looks like. If you are interested in ordering one, if you're interested in ordering one, uh, because it's based on our Giro last, you can just come into the store and try on one of our other Jiro lasted ready to wear shoes. And, you know, depending on the fit of it, like maybe you're a seven, maybe you're an eight, maybe you're a nine, uh, we can then proceed to select the leather and select the details for the sole, and we're off to the races, that's it. Very simple process for a very, very high quality shoe. All right, so that is available now. You can get it uh, at the Hong Kong store or at the New York store, um, the sample, is unfortunately still in Hong Kong, but we will get to shipping that over to New York at some point if any customers would like to see it over there. All right, that is it for now, and thanks for watching.